pyridide detector and single channel analyzer now as the topic suggests we have a gamma spectrum which we have to study now what is a gamma spectrum so from the topic itself you can see that there are three distinct parts of this practical from the topic itself the first is gamma spectrum second one is sodium iodide thallium activated detector and the third one is single channel analyzer now i am quite sure you know about the second part of the practical quite well sodium iodide thallium activated detector which is a an inorganic scintillator right i think that you have already you know about this detector from your second semester i am aware of that but before i talk about the second topic let me first talk about the gamma spectrum so the first thing is what is a gamma ray or right what is a gamma ray it is basically a photon but having its origin from the nuclear transitions and if you can see if you will and then you will find that the gamma rays that uh, the photons emitted from the nuclear transitions have energies of the order of or more than 10 keV up to several MeV okay so these photons which have origins from the nuclear transitions are known as gamma rays now what we are going to do is going to study how the gamma ray interacts with the matter right this is the actual motivation for this practical now the first question is why do this gamma transition occur well of course gamma transition will not occur from the ground state right a nucleus must be in an excited state and during the de-excitation process it can emit alpha beta gamma or even clusters as well but if it emits alpha beta or any other charged particle then some other nucleus will be formed as a result of the decay but if the nucleus remains the same then there is only possibility of the gamma transition through gamma rays now so what we are going to talk about we are going to talk about those radioactive isotopes here in this practical i will show you tomorrow the sources that we have so we will be talking about 137 cesium radioactive source then cobalt 60 radioactive source i would like you to note it down and find out using internet this about these two sources 137 cesium cs cesium and 60 cobalt find out using internet about the basic properties of these sources their half-life what are the prominent gamma rays these two sources emit and then i will talk about it tomorrow okay so this is a sort of homework but also a prerequisite for tomorrow's demonstration okay so basically we are going to talk about radioactive nuclei or source in our case which will decay by gamma ray predominantly and then when these gamma rays are emitted we will study them so how do i study them how do i catch the gamma ray well you don't have to do anything just take a radioactive nuclei together with some amount inside a source now that the amount has to be small so that the number of disintegrations does not harm us otherwise there will be cell damage and then cancer and many other other related issues biological damage so the source that we will be using they will, it will have very small disintegrations per second so that it does not harm us during the period of time that we will be doing the experiment okay this is point number one point number two we will be using a point source 
for our measurements. That is the amount of uh, radioactive material which will which is deposited in the source is not flattened out but is, is in a pinpoint position so that you can assume that we have a point source because if we have a distributed source then many things change and calculations become very difficult so we have a point source and the source strength is small so that it does not have uh, it does not damage us during the time that we'll be doing the practical which is not going to be much one and a half hour or so this entire practical can be easily completed okay so now what happens when the source emits the gamma rays the gamma rays then come out of the source and then they are scattering everywhere right they will scatter from the bricks on the wall they will scatter from the pen you are carrying they will be scattering from the mobile phone right and also some of them will enter the detector which we will place in front of the source okay so this is up till the scattering part fine next is interaction okay now Tell me, uh, the phone that you are carrying right now, can you say that it is a gamma ray detector? Tell me, what is your opinion? Or what should be a gamma ray detector be? Sumanto. Being a student of nuclear, advanced nuclear, let me know about your opinion. Bolo. Should they watch it? Hello. Hello, Sonayache. Anybody can listen to me? Kishu Bolo Tole? I'm a Busta Bachina. Okay, Dako. I mean, get a Proshno Kulam. What I have asked is the phone that you are carrying right now. Can you say that this is a gamma ray detector? এর জন্য যেটা করতে হবে সোর্সের কাছে কাছে ফোনটাকে এনে দেখতে হবে কিছু হচ্ছে কিনা ওকে এটা হয়ে গেল কোয়ালিটেটিভ স্টেটমেন্ট দ্য থিং দ্যাট উই উড লাইক টু নো ইজ দ্যাট দ্য ফোন ইফ দ্য গ্যামার ইজ এন্টার ইউর ফোন সে ফর एग्जांपल দে মাস্ট ক্রিয়েট এ সর্ট অফ রেসপন্স দ্যাট উই শুড বি এবল টু ডিস্টিংগুইশ and separate from the other effects and then only we will be able to qualitatively and quantitatively estimate the amount of energy deposited by the gamma ray why the reason is that unlike charged particles the gamma rays they can either deposit their full energy in a medium or they can deposit partial energy only at an example that remember the scattering of photon with electron compton scattering effect right get a better chilo check on a photon scattered way better chilo as a result of scattering and it has got lower energy or longer wavelength so there is a possibility for the photons that they can or gamma rays that they can deposit their full energy or deposit incomplete energy in the medium so what shall be a detector be well a detector should be a one as i have mentioned just now where we must be able to observe the response of the interacting gamma rays and separate it out 
okay now if you do this then you will find that the mobile phone is not a detector at all now what the, if the, the word detector means that it will just tell you if there is a gamma ray or not say for example the gm counter that you have seen in our lab right now it is a detector why because it will just tell you if there is a gamma ray there or not or any other charged particle there or not but it will not tell you anything more than that the situation is quite similar to the case where someone knocks on your door as a result of this knocking you are able to just understand that someone is there so this is just a scenario of a detector if someone some gamma ray has entered the medium and you are able to distinguish it from the other effects then only you can say okay some gamma ray is there then that medium you can say this is a detector now if you open the door then you will be able to see the person whether it is a child or a man or woman okay or about the So, the situation is similar in our case. There was a problem, I think. Okay. Yes. So, I was continuing. Yes. What I was saying is that, you see, a spectrometer, in case of a spectrometer, we will be able to say more about the specifics of the gamma ray present now this practical that we will be having in the lab is basically a gamma spectrometer experiment okay why because you see the name the name says study of gamma spectrum right now remember when you did the GM counter experiment, there you just measured the counts. That's it. Of course, you did plot the GM plateau, but that was just to know about the operating point for the practical. You did not do any sort of plotting over there. It cannot give you, it is just a detector. But here, we'll be using a spectrometer for example, one of the most uh, cheaply available robust gamma spectrometer is sodium iodide. Now again, next question, I would like you to tell me tomorrow, why do we use thallium for as a, along with sodium iodide? Then only, that is why does thallium activation is done? In, for the sodium iodide thallium activated detector. I know that you have been taught these things. So tell me tomorrow about it. Okay. So regarding the gamma spectrometer. Fine. So we will have a spectrometer where if the gamma ray enters, then we should be able to tell about the energy carried by the gamma ray. Now, I already told you that the gamma ray can deposit full energy or it can deposit partial energy. Fine. So our spectrometer should be able to distinguish these two events and it is indeed possible to know so. Fine. So the next thing is let me share some plots with you. Okay. On the screen here, you can see a block diagram for a basic gamma spectroscopy system. And basically, we will be doing the same thing in our lab. Tomorrow I will show you. This is just a block diagram here. And 
let me start with the left hand side so we have a detector over here as you can see and gamma rays enter the detector and from the detector we will get signals this signal needs to be shaped what i mean to say is that you see we have got a detector and we have got a detection system these are all associated electronics which are required to analyze the electronic signal which will be given out from the detector and which will have information about the incident gamma radiation which have deposited some energy in the detector so the first thing is remember maximum power transfer theorem which means that the impedance matching should be there otherwise the information given out by the detector will not be transmitted much and there will be loss which we do not want so you see the actual part of the electronics is the amplifier and here mc is written i will tell you the name meaning behind it later on and here is the detector so in between the detector and the electronics we need a unit which will which will do this impedance matching and that job is done by this preamplifier in fact preamplifier also somewhat shapes the signals now what i mean by the shaping of the signal is that i have discussed these uh, topics in detail in the nuclear advanced nuclear classes but uh, in this uh, class here i will not going to talk about it in large number of details but i am just trying to give you a gist of it so when the you see the signal a sort of response about the gamma ray is given out by the detector we call it signal right that signal it is not appropriate for actual use we have to shape it this is also important for faster collection and this shaping is somewhat done in the preamplifier and later done in the amplifier now when i say when i am saying the word shaping i want to say two things number one i want to reduce the width of the analog pulse number one and number two the input pulse is of asymmetric form and this creates difficulty in the collection part during electronic analysis in the amplifier so for the for the purpose of better collection we have to shape the signal to a symmetric form so this task of decreasing the length of the input signal and shaping it these two important jobs are done in the amplifier and preamplifier does the sort of impedance matching along with some of the amplification part also the amplifier does the amplification job why because the output given out from the detector is very small in amplitude and needs amplification so this is more or less the overall gist and thereafter this signal is sent to a discriminator i will talk about it later on maybe tomorrow i will uh, show you how a discriminator works on the blackboard tomorrow i will show this to you so this is what i have discussed till now now uh, if you have any questions do ask me so starting from the what can i say gamma spectrum we have talked about the sodium iodide thallium activated detector which is an inorganic scintillator detector right then i have talked about the various 
aspects of gamma spectrum right now let me talk about the important processes through gamma rays deposit energy in the medium well you know the most important one is photoelectric effect right one step process where entire energy of the gamma ray is deposited the next one which is important is the compton scattering unfortunately here the energy is not completely deposited because of the scattered out photon now let us consider a scenario so a 1 mb gamma ray enters into your sodium iodide detector okay and it deposits 600 kv gamma ray say for example and then the 400 kv scattered photon it does not interact anywhere in the active material of the detector and just escapes the detector so what will you observe what you will observe is the result of the interaction of the incident gamma ray in the medium that is 600 kv so if you see the spectrum then at 600 kv in the spectrum you will see a point but tell me is it the this 600 kv is it the actual energy of the gamma ray no the actual energy was 1000 kv 1 mb so what is this this 600 kv is due to the incomplete deposition of gamma ray in the medium in the spectrometer and just like this case there will be many other cases and this is due to the compton effect and because of this compton effect basically we will have a compton background okay and because of this compton background the shape of the gamma spectrum will be somewhat changed let me show you how the actual spectrum looks like okay just a second just a second let me show you okay. this is the on the screen you can see here the, the distribution due to just the compton recoiling electrons here so you will see something like this here and this h nu is the one corresponding to the actual photon so if we have only full energy deposition then we will have a peak over here which we often say full energy peak but instead of full energy if we have incomplete energy deposition due to compton scattering then we will have something different you see and not a single peak but a sort of distribution this is the result of compton scattering okay now similarly if just like the compton scattering if we have pair production scenario which is the third important interaction then during annihilation the positron when it creates two gamma photons there is a possibility that if the gamma photons escape the detector both of them then suppose we have got 2 mv gamma ray and of course the energy of 2 mv is greater than the pair production threshold of 1022 kv as a result pair production will be an important part here some of the gamma rays will produce pair production now during the pair production after the electron positrons are created and when the positron slows down just before the rest it will interact with another electron and as a result two 511 kv gamma rays will be produced now if this production happens near the surface of the detector and one of the gamma rays escapes the detector then what you will observe you will observe 
2000 kV minus 511. So this is what you will observe. And as a result, using find out, I will I can show you spectrum later on. I will show you that in those spectrum around this value of 2000 minus uh, 500 511 kV, there is a peak, and we call this a single escape peak. Similarly, if two gamma rays escape, then we will have a double escape peak, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, let me show you another spectrum which you will observe if you use a 137 cesium source. You can see over here, the more or less the spectrum looks like this. Here, you see. So, this is how you will observe the experimental spectrum. This corresponds to full energy peak here. And this one, these are the results of the Compton scattering. Now, the 662 kV gamma ray emitted by the during the, by the 137 cesium source, the energy is lower than 1022 kV threshold. And so here we will only observe the effects of Compton scattering and photoelectric effect. Now you see here, why is this peak called full energy peak and not just the photo peak? The reason is that there will be events where Suppose this 662 kV undergoes Compton scattering, say 422 kV, 662 kV, right? Suppose 462 kV gamma ray is absorbed during the first interaction and the scattered 200 kV gamma ray, it is again also absorbed into the detector at some other point through photoelectric effect. So first Compton scattering followed by photoelectric effect. So what will be the result? The result is that we will observe both. If this happens during the same time window of observation, then we will observe 462 plus 200, which is equal to 662. But you see, this 662 event is happening because of Compton scattering followed by pair, uh, followed by photoelectric effect. Okay, so but we are getting the total energy back or you can say we are getting the uh, information about the total energy of the peak. So this, this is the reason why this peak is called full energy peak because there will be events where we will get this peak due to Compton scattering as well. Of course, followed by photoelectric effect. So am I uh, clear up till now? You guys are very smart and you have understood everything. Good. Which makes my life simple. Right. Okay. Now, let me again show you another plot or graph. Again, telling the same thing which I have been talking to you about. So, you see here, this is the detected medium in the upper case. Here I have shown the result of the interaction of gamma ray with a medium sized detector. So you see, we can have Compton scattering, we can followed by photoelectric effect. This case we just I talked about right now. You see the Compton scattering electron produced, which is absorbed. Now these electrons have very small range in this material. So they will be absorbed and the scattered photon it also is absorbed, followed by the photoelectric effect. So we will, this event will contribute to full energy peak. Okay, let me consider the next event here, the second one. This one goes, undergoes Compton scattering, then second Compton scattering, and then again another scattered photon is pr produced. However, this escapes the detector. And because of this, we will, this event will contribute to the Compton background and not to the full energy peak, just like this event. Okay, so if this is event number one, event number one contributes to the full energy peak, but event number two contributes to the Compton background. Now, let me talk about the third event. Here, pair production happens, and you see electron, it is absorbed, positron, after 
this positron slows down, it creates two 511 kV gamma rays. Now, the first 511 is absorbed in the medium by photoelectric absorption, but the second 511, it is escape, escaping the medium. So, what will we observe? We will observe, you see, this spectrum, single escape peak. For such events where a single annihilation photon escapes, we will observe a single escape peak. Now, if both this and this photon has escaped, then we will observe, we would have observed the double escape peak, which is shown over here. Fine. And what is this? This is the full energy peak corresponding to all events where the gamma ray deposits its full energy. Now suppose we have a case where just like this one, event 3, where after pair production and the positron annihilates to two photons, 511 kV, they, both of them are absorbed in the detector by photoelectric absorption, then this event would have also contributed to the full energy peak. Okay. So you see, in this picture, we can see the effect of Compton scattering. This is the effect of single Compton scattering. This is the effect of pair production, peaks. So you see, photoelectric effect creates peaks. Pair production also, its effects are to produce either full energy peak or to produce the escape peaks. However, Compton scattering produces this, you see, Compton background. It does not create a peak. And here, in between this region, this is the contribution due to, due to multiple Compton events. Okay. So, we, have, we are right now discussing the various features of gamma spectrum any questions sir bolo baba je tale jokhon amader gamma ray spectrum gulo amra dekhbo tale ei somosto ghotona guloi okhane present thakbe tai to ha somosto tomader kaj hocche ei jinish ta ei je chobi ta gulo dekhacchi sundor sundor chobi ei ta ke tomader ke study korte hobe acha That's it. Mane e chobir bhetore koto physics er golpo ache. Eitai moja. Any more question? Bolo. Ami kalke tomader ke actual experiment e jokhon amra practical kori তখন কি রকম স্পেকট্রাম গুলো নি সেটা আমি কালকে দেখাবো কালকে বা পরশু দিন দেখাবো ওকে এইগুলো হচ্ছে থিওরিটিক্যাল জিনিস এটা নিউ মাচ গ্রেটার দ্যান 2 এম 0 সি স্কয়ার ওই গ্রাফটা এখানে নিচে তে মাল্টিপল কম্পটেন স্যার ওটা বোঝান না একটু নিচে চলে যাচ্ছে অত নিচে তারপরে আবার ফুল এনে না ইউ ক্যান ডু দিস বাই ইয়োরসেল थैंक यू फॉर আস্কিং দিস क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ দিস গিভস মি অ্যান অপরচুনিটি to ask you to do another homework ha khub bhalo proshno eta ami eta ei proshnor opore ekta problem diyechhilam amader specialist student der ke problem ta khub sohoj tumra likhe nite paro proshno ta dutu case okay everyone bhalo kore shono two cases case number 1 is 662 kv okay 662 kv now তোমরা জানো যে কম্পটন স্ক্যাটারিং এর ফর্মুলাটা কি ওকে তাহলে যদি কম্পটন স্ক্যাটারিং হয় কোথায় থেকে কোথায় অবধি তোমরা স্ক্যাটারড ফোটন পাবে তার এনার্জি গুলো বা কম্পটন এজ ম্যাক্সিমাম এনার্জি এটা আমাকে বার করে দেবে ফর সিঙ্গেল স্ক্যাটারিং 662 কেভি নেক্সট এবার যদি 662 কেভি তে তোমার ডাবল কম্পটন স্ক্যাটারিং হয় তাহলে তুমি কত এনার্জি পেতে পারো এই জিনিসটা একবার আমাকে বর্ষা জিজ্ঞেস করেছো না তুমি আমি তোমাকে প্রশ্নের উত্তরটা বলবো কিন্তু এটার জন্য ছোট ছোট অঙ্ক করতে হবে এই অঙ্কটা কষ্ট আমি তোমাকে ছবিতে বলছি কি হবে ছবিটা হচ্ছে এই যে ইউ ক্যান সি দিস স্পেকট্রাম লেট মি জুম ইট সামওয়ার্ড ওকে ইউ সি দিস ওয়ান 
मेटेरियल हावा गर मान गैप Say for example 662. Okay, this is here. Suppose I am going to declare that 400 kV is the Compton edge. That is, it is the maximum possible gamma ray by first Compton scattering. Ta khule deficit kato hobe? Deficit hoteche 200 kV, 262 kV. So this gap corresponds to 262 kV. Aur eta hoteche hoy energy ta 400 kV. Eta ekhane deposit hoteche. Now suppose this 262 kV gamma photon here that again interacts in the medium after and undergoes Compton scattering. Now what will happen? You will get a deposit. What will happen? You will get this plus another some amount which is not full energy peak. Can you? Because no matter how much Compton is, it means that it is very much. Now what will happen? Another side, another energy add will happen. क्वालिटेटिवली बोझाल प्रैक्टिकल कथा टा बोल रहा हूँ। ओके। अच्छा। एनी मोर क्वेश्चन? आज के अमी गामा स्पेक्ट्रम गुलो नहीं डिस्कस करते चाहिए थी। कारण ये पॉरे टॉपिक टा कल के अमी तुम्हारे ब्लैकबोर्ड पे देखा बो सिग्नल गुलो आर डेमोनस्ट्रेशन टा देवो अर्की भावे अमरा डेटा कलेक्ट कोरी आर तार पॉर कोरेस्पोंडिंग प्ल Don't make the sound. I mean, yet a bhavchi nam. I will do demonstration. I will show you two or three data points, and then the rest of the data points I will give it to you, and then you will do the plot day after tomorrow and show me the result. Tumna jekono plotting software use kore amma ke chobi ta dakhte pala. This will be a nice demonstration and also work out as well. Acha till now. Any more questions? एक हने जे D N D तार पड़े E लिखा आजे तो double के फूले energy टा कम हो बे हाँ double S K फूले अभी बोल लाम ना double S K फूले energy टा निश्चय कम हो बे देखो एक टे example देखा जा ठीक है चे एक एन अनदर example suppose 2 MeV gamma ray, 2 MeV gamma ray. By whatever means, if it is absorbed in the detector, we get a full energy peak at 2 MeV. Okay. Now suppose a double escape peak events is uh, is there. So what will be the energy deposited? It will be 2 MeV minus 2 into 511. जे जाएगा तो हो बे शेखाने तुम ही एक ता पीक देख बे. ंग टू दू एम गैमारे 
যেটা শুনতে বুঝতে পেরেছি আচ্ছা এবারে আমি তোমাদেরকে আরেকটা খুব ইন্টারেস্টিং ছবি এইটাই আজকে লাস্ট জিনিস তারপরে আমি কালকে তোমাদের আজকে আমি যেটা করছি সেটা হচ্ছে তোমাদেরকে আমি একদম বেসিক জিনিসগুলো বোঝাচ্ছি হ্যাঁ আমি এটা এই যেটা রেকর্ডিং হয়েছে এটা আমি তোমাদেরকে শেয়ার করে দেবো দিস ইজ ভেরি ইন্টারেস্টিং কালকে একটু কমপ্লিকেটেড হবে এর থেকে আর আমি চাইবো আই উড লাইক ইউ টু গো থ্রু দ্য ফিজিক্স অফ দ্য ইনঅর্গ্যানিক সেন্টিলেটার্স অ্যাট হোম সিন্স দিস হ্যাজ অলরেডি বিন কভার্ড ইন দ্য ক্লাস আই ডু নট ওয়ান্ট টু রিপিট ইট ওকে আই উইল জাস্ট টক অবাউট দ্য ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফিচার্স ওভ দ্য বাট তোমরা একটু নিজেরা পড়ে নাও আমি যেটা করব যেটা সেটা হচ্ছে অ্যাকচুয়াল গ্যামার স্পেকট্রোস্কোপিতে কি হয় সেটা নিয়ে আমি তোমাদের সাথে কালকে ডিসকাস করব ওকে বাট নাও ইউ ক্যান সি সামথিং ইভেন মোর ইন্টারেস্টিং হিয়ার দিস ইজ হোয়াট আই উইল অ্যাকচুয়ালি হ্যাপেন্স ইন এনি গ্যামারে স্পেকট্রোস্কোপি এক্সপেরিমেন্ট অ্যান্ড হোয়াট ইজ দ্যাট ইউ সি দেখো আমার সোর্স আছে আর ডিটেক্টার আছে আমরা কিন্তু একটা ভ্যাকিউমে কাজ করছি না উই আর নট ওয়ার্কিং ইন এ ভ্যাকিউম হোয়ার এভরি মেটেরিয়াল পার্টিকেল ইজ আওয়ে ফ্রম আস উই আর ওয়ার্কিং ইন দ্য রিয়েল ওয়ার্ল্ড রাইট সো দের উইল বি এফেক্টস অফ স্ক্যাটারিংস দ্যাট মিন্স দ্য সোর্স উইল এমিট গ্যামা ফোটনস ইন এভরি পসিবল ডিরেকশন অ্যান্ড দে উইল আন্ডার গো পেয়ার প্রোডাকশন কন্টন স্ক্যাটারিং ফটো ইলেকট্রিক এফেক্ট অ্যান্ড হোয়াট নট উইথ নট জাস্ট দ্য ডিটেক্টর বাট উইথ এভরি অ্যাদার মেটেরিয়াল present around the source including us right and as a result the scattered photons they will be entering the detector and then they will create something undesirable and you can see that so the source is here i'm given here a very simple example and you can see suppose the source is here and let me talk about the case 1 event 1 you see what happens the detector is here and there is some material around the detector maybe wall and there is a photoelectric absorption and then the characteristic x ray it can also be emitted it can also ex- uh, what i want to say it can also escape the wall and enter your detector there is a possibility and then you will see in your spectrum something corresponding to characteristic x ray that is called x ray peak now ami tomader bolte chaichi je ei gulo amra kokhon dekhte parbo jodi amar detector er energy resolution khub bhalo hoy and we are able to pinpoint it also i have to take the data for a very long period of time however the detector that we will be using is sodium iodide thallium activated detector which does not have that much good energy resolution instead had we have used the HPG high purity germanium detector and taken the data overnight puro raat jodi amra data nikta tahole kintu ei jinish gulo dekha jeto okay next is dekho next hocche back scattering what is back scattering ei je dekho amar gamma ray ta source theke beriye deale giye kotha scatter korlo ebar maximum energy deposit kore je photon ta ache seta jodi eshe detector e amar jama hoye jay then i will get what is called the uh, what what is what we will get is the result of 180 degree compton scattering at the wall and this is called back scattering and we will get a back scattering peak here number 2 ami eta kintu practically tomader ke dekhabo amra eta niye study kori ki kore kori ami source ta detector er opore rekhe dilam rekhe ebar thik detector ar source er opposite end e ami jodi kono material diye chepe di তাহলে আর কিছুক্ষণ ডেটা নিন তাহলে দেখানো যায় যে পুরো স্পেকট্রামে হুট করে কোনো একটা জায়গায় এইরকম পিক উঠে যাবে থার্ড প্রসেস এই যে দেখো যেটা হচ্ছে আমার অ্যানিলেশন পিক ওয়ান অফ দ্য ফাইভ ইলেভেন কেভি গ্যামারে হিয়ার ফ্রম দ্য ওয়াল এটা কিন্তু ডাবল স্কেপ বা সিঙ্গেল স্কেপ পিক হচ্ছে না কেন কারণ ডাবল স্কেপ সিঙ্গেল স্কেপ পিক ইভেন্ট গুলো ডিটেক্টর এর ভেতরে হয় আর এখানে আমরা যা স্টাডি করছি হোয়াট এভার উই আর স্টাডিং আর দ্য ইনফ্লুয়েন্সেস অফ দ্য সারাউন্ডিং মেটেরিয়াল অন দ্য ডিটেক্টর অ্যান্ড ইউ ক্যান সি অ্যাজ এ রেজাল্ট অফ দিস এস্কেপিং ফাইভ ইলেভেন কে ভি অ্যানাইলেশন পিক ওকে সো দিস ইজ হোয়াট আই উড হ্যাভ লাইক টু টক টু ইউ অ্যান্ড আই থিঙ্ক আই হ্যাভ কনভেড মাই মেসেজ টুডে এনি মোর কোয়েশ্চেন 
ক্ষেত্রে আমরা যেটা ল্যাবে করি এই রকম স্ট্রাকচার থাকে সোর্স থাকে তারপরে ফেড ডিটেক্টর ভাই হ্যাঁ রাইট আমি কালকে দেখাবো তোমাদেরকে স্যার তো এইখানে যে স্পেসিফাই করা আছে যে এক নম্বর এই রকম এদিকে গেলেই ফটো ইলেকট্রিক হবে তারপরে এইখান থেকে ঢাকা হলে এই কম টার্ম স্ক্যাটিং এটা মানে এটা কি ফিক্স এই রকম হলে এই রকম হতে হবে মানে না এই রকম হলে এই রকম হবে এটা বলছি না এই রকম যদি হয় তাহলে কত এনার্জি ডিপোজিট হবে এটা আমি ক্যালকুলেট করতে পারি আমি তোমাদেরকে দুটো एग्जांपल দিলাম না একটা 662 একটা 2 mEV তোমরা নিজেরা করো না এটা ঠিক আছে তোমরা নিজেরা এই খাতায় এই ছবিটা ছবি তুলে নাও আমি এটা রেকর্ডিং পাঠিয়ে দেব ছবি তুলে নাও এবার তোমরা নিজেরা খাতায় করো যে সাপোজ আমার দু এম ইভি গামারে দেয়ালে ধাক্কা মারলো ডিটেক্টরে এলো দু এম ইভি গামারে ডিটেক্টরে গেলো দেয়ালে ধাক্কা মারলো আবার ডিটেক্টরে ফিরে এলো দেখবে নানান রকম পসিবিলিটিস হচ্ছে আই হ্যাভ জাস্ট টকড অ্যাবাউট ভেরি ফিউ অফ দেম ওভার হিয়ার ফিউ ইম্পর্টেন্ট অ্যান্ড ইন্টারেস্টিং কেসেস আই হ্যাভ টকড অ্যাবাউট मन रखे जमा पड़े माइनस इ गा प्राइम that you have to calculate tomar mone korte hobe detector er bhetore koto ta joma hoyeche shetai kintu tumi spectrum e dekhbe spectrum e tumi kon ta dekhbe spectrum e dekhbe jeta detector e joma poreche jeta kete porche seta tumi dekhbe na ache hm thik ache onek golpo korlam ami eta tomaderke share kore dicchi tumra pore ta dekhe nao ami parle ekta pdf tomader ajke pathiye dicchi okay you read through it then tomorrow i will talk about it more okay